Now, one of the things is I have been doing for this all the time, and it is intentional, is that when he comes, I'm meeting him with a little bit of energy, and call it key if you want, call it um, muscular tension if you want, or um, enlightenment in my body. Okay? And there's a reason for that. If I'm completely relaxed at the time of contact, he's already, he's already shifting my body. Okay? And he's decided the terms on which I will have to move after the, after the contact. Because the contact was completely relaxed and he will have shifted my body in a way that I can't predict. Okay? So I always want to be meet, meeting that with a little bit of energy in. And when I say meeting that, I meet it not like pushing in, he's being nice there. Okay? Push in and I, I'm going to lose it every time. But I am meeting it with a little bit of energy and it might be at right angles to where his push is going. Okay? And it doesn't matter which right angle so long as I know what I'm doing with it. But I am never um, passive, okay? because I've, I've given him the opening of the, of the confrontation. Uh, and that's really important. So that's, um, I'm getting into my feet, and that tells me that I have some control of my body by being able to hold that back. Not that I want to necessarily hold that back. Okay? But, say it again. I may just decide to move out and not even let him grip because I take control of it and control is a rude word these days too um, I join with it okay? <coughs> so I join with the movement okay? then I identify the problem it must be him that can't be met and I deal with the problem but that sense of join okay, um, <coughs> one of the things the sensei said to me was Aikido is that. Aikido is not that. You know, and if something is coming in, you take it offline and deal with it. But you have to put in energy as well. Okay. Let's make sure. There's shoulders in it. Okay. So I want to be in this position and um, I want to see that his shape is following the technique. Not sure why we go with this one, but it's a really interesting one in seeing the changes of the, sh of the shoulder. Now, at the moment, I'm in danger of losing that. It doesn't look like it, but I know I am, because that look, arm is too straight, and with his body weight, he can straighten, just lean that shoulder slightly back, and he's started the counter. So, <coughs> again, this is what they teach me. Not that this is very basic. It's taught me that if I get to this stage, now that's better. See the twist on his shoulder? It's much harder for him to um, <coughs> pull me back. And I'm going to change it a little bit more with a bit of twist. He's up on his toes. And that tells me, the change in his body told me that I now have control of that technique. But it was several iterations down before I realised I'm safe to turn under the arm. Okay? So again, we get to here. Oh, I push him back. That feels nice. I'm going to move from my Shihonage. Are you in? Any trouble yet? No. no? And I'm aware he's not. Okay? I can feel his body. Oh, see, he's sunk down to stop me doing my shihanage because I can't get under that now. So I'm going to have to go back and do something else. So he decided he liked Sankyo. And I thought shihanage would have been a good technique. Oh, look at those fists closed. Where's the relaxation here, Jason? <laughs> Oh, I want the relaxation up here. Ah. Now we go to the Zion Master. Yes. Okay?